Hey everyone, it's Dave here from Band of Badgers. And look what's arrived. Um, this is the, uh, from, from, let's start at the beginning, the Army Painter. This is their Game Master Character Starter Role Playing Paint Set. Now, I've been waiting, for the, I've loved this as soon as it turned up. This is fantastic. We've seen uh, players who, when, when they get into D&D or Pathfinder or any kind of tabletop game, when they start getting to get into their own minis and they want to paint something, here you have something that delivers everything in one box. You get the paintbrush, you get the paints, you get five minis. So if you want, if you're a DM, GM, and you're, you're waiting to get people around your table, you could do this in one fell swoop. Um, if you're a new player and you want to get into the painting hobby, everything here is included for your character or for your future characters. Who knows? But I, I rarely see anything that does, delivers everything into one box. Um, Army Painter have outdone themselves. As you can see, there's a selection of paints. You can't really see it. There's a picture of a paintbrush there. Uh, five free miniatures. And we'll get onto those in a second. You can see some of the beautiful artwork here fighting the Red Dragon. This is, as they label it, the essential paint set for all role-playing games. Now, this is not one of their D&D specific ones as we've seen in the past with uh, Dritz and the Owlbear. This is their own collection of paints. Um, and I'm really excited to get into this. We're going to be actually doing a special uh, brush-off episode just, uh, with um, Adam from Army Painter just focusing on this product. But I wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek as this kind of unboxing um, to show you what's involved. There is so much packed into the single box. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer so you can see. Um, but look at this, look. We have each, you can, so as I said, you've got five characters. There's the models there, you can see them in the middle. But what uh, Army Painter go one step further than anyone else is they give you the QR codes to scan, which takes you to the YouTube video um, of just how to paint each particular mini, which I think is a great idea. I mean, look at look at the pose on that, on the Ranger. Look, Derek. That's going to be one. And I love the dwarf on here. That just looks amazing. Now they've they've got a, a few ranges of bits and pieces. Um, as you can see here, you get. Um, they are. Uh, this, 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 it says there. I was trying to read it at the same time I'm trying to speak. I, I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> so these are sprue based minis, but snap fit, no glue required. What? Is that even possible? I have no idea. You get the booklet inside as well, tips and tricks for beginners, and they are really good, useful tips and tricks. Do not throw the book away. Uh, do not just set it to one side. Do have a look. You get the starter brush. And you get 20 sets of paints. Now these are their new new game master. And you've got, you can see that they've got these kind of rip claws there. These are their new packaged game master paints, which I absolutely love. Um, you get two washes, two metallics, I believe, in there as well. So they color code them. White are normal acrylic paints. The, let's test my memory, the, <laughs> the blacks are metallics and the reds are washes. So again, everything you need is right here, which I love. Now let's go around and have, oh yeah. And you've also got, uh, they're doing some other sets as well. So you've got a Wilderness Adventures with some extra paints of, uh, extra set of paints. The Wandering Monsters, as you can see there, lovely troll looking thing. I love that. And you've got a hag in that, in that one. You can see just my reflection on my phone. I'm using my phone to record. Um, and we've got the Game Master set. Now this is for building your own Epic Dungeons, literally using phone. Um, I, that's that's my next challenge. That will that will come. Um, I'm got a little bit uh, fill up with cold at the moment, but once I get once I get past the uh, army painter special, my next challenge will be this. But let's have a read. In search of adventure, nothing brings a fantasy world more to life than creatures that inhabit it. Playing with painted miniatures will uh, will level up your whole role playing experience. It does. It really does as it brings your adventure to life on a tabletop in front of you. Now, if you don't believe me about that, check out some of our video streams. Um, YouTube.com slash Band of Badgers. You're on the channel now. Just hit subscribe and yours and uh, and check out our playlists. Check out our homepage on YouTube. We've got loads of stuff going on. Uh, this epic paint set contains not only a full party of five fantastic, highly detailed miniatures, it also includes a starter brush and 20 of the most essential colors you need to paint your party of heroes and heroines 
fighting the foul monsters, dragons, and evil creatures lurking in dark dungeons or above ground. There we go. I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting into it, which we're going to do right now. I've got my scissors. There's not much on uh, on the sides. I'll show you the sides. There you go. Put it right way around. So you've got the logo. You've got the branding. Um, I'm not someone, if you've watched this channel before, I'm not someone who keeps their boxes. I just rip this stuff open. Um, you got some extra bits and tentacles on the side. Blah, 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 blah. There's a minute. It's just, oh, one thing I wanted to show <clears throat> is this. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here because it's a bit easier. But did you know, see this around the edge? And look, I love this. Hold your shield and hold it high. For monsters will be monsters. Strike with force upon the head. Or tame the beast with spells. Oh, that's even yet. Oh, what is it? What is it? Inside. Gold. And treasure awaits us. Ah, oh, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I am, yeah, love it. Right, here's my scissors. I don't have anything. I don't have. Uh, I do actually do have a scalpel because they sent me one, um, or an exacto knife, or whatever you call it. But I don't have any fancy swords, shurikens, axes to open up packages. I just use scissors. Let's get this package off. Here we go. So as I said. Army Painter did send this, uh, did send me a copy. We're, we're going to be using it, actually. So this is part of the uh, an Army Painter special we're doing with our Brit Great British Brush Off series. Do check us out. Again, YouTube.com. Um, oh, I wasn't always expecting a whole trade. That is quite nice to see. And <clears throat> there we go. Get rid of the box. I told you I don't need it. Right. This is handy. I like this. I really need good painting storage. Um, if you can, uh, anyone can help on that, that'd be, that'd be great. I'm just checking as well, because these are speed paints. So this is, oh, I like that. Army Painter speed paints. No, I can't get out of the way. So they are slightly smaller in this set, but paint goes a long way. When you're painting minis, paint really does go a hell of a long way. So we'll get to the paints in a sec. Let's see what else we've got in the boxes. Here's our painting guide. It's <clears throat> it's big enough, but it was about A5 in size. You got 30 odd pages in here of uh, tips and tricks and help and advice. We'll come back to that in a second. Uh, how to paint the character. Oh, we actually, oh, we've got loads of stuff. What's this? We have a map. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Here we go, Farbend Village. We have an abandoned mill, Harridan's farm, old market, town hall, the hollow. Quest. <gasps> we get to play a quest. Wow. It's a quick side mission. That is so nice, guys. That is really nice. Play handout number one. Right, and you can cut that off. Obviously, keep it as a nice thing. That's really nice. I like it. We'll come back to that. Build your own epic dungeons as an advert for the. Um, if you got a, if you want to scan that, pause it, scan it. Um, it just takes you to the uh, page. It's not a discount code or anything. But yeah, that is nice. How to build your own? That is my next challenge, as I mentioned. Oh, terrain brush kit, character brush set. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. After I, after have a chat with uh, Army Painter. See if we can get some more of these kind of little products to show you, they would be really nice. Is it coming soon? Does it say coming soon? It just says core set. Well, we'll have to have a look. But really, really nice. Okay. I can't believe it's snap, it's, there's a snap fit. I really enjoy doing that. And it says, oh no, it does say prime. You just do still have to prime them. I thought they were painting there. Um, nice brush, here you go. Game master, starter brush. Game Master Brand. I love branded stuff. I do. Um, I've got even more paints. The little thingy for the brushes come off. Uh, and look at that. All five. I was expecting actually one sprue for each um, character. But all five are on one. That makes it really nice. I mean, it's solid. They're not like fronts and backs. That is really nice. Let's have a proper look. All right, let's... Let's interrupt our regular broadcasting to bring you 
sprues. Let's zoom in so we can see some detail on these. That that is pretty good. So what's he got? He's got arm. There's his arm up there. And you just plonk him down on a base. I wonder if it's a particular base. Maybe. I think it probably is. Yes. I think. Well, there's our ranger. I'm a big fan. Oh, look at that. He has a hip quiver. Love it. Okay, he's my new character. He's they're pretty solid as well. Um Spruce Spru minis are generally generally quite strong. And I'm surprised I mean you couldn't you can see look. Look at the detail. The creases in the clothing, look. That is going to be really nice to paint. Um, I've just got into using their speed paints. And I wonder how these will come out with speed paints. I think, I think, pretty damn good. Uh, check out the dwarf. Look at the detail on the shield. Got a bit of wood inlay there. Really nice. And look on the back of the shield. Really nice. I love that. Slip them around again. Let's see who else we got. We got the rogue. Wow, look at the dagger. I mean, how tiny detail is that? And that's really deep. I mean, that's, that is brilliantly molded there. Got detail on the dagger, even on the blade as well. That's really nice. Probably have to use proper tools to take these off. I'm not going to build these now, but I will do I will do a uh, a build video cuz I'm quite intrigued by these. Again, look great detail. What what's on the chest? Why have we got an arm on the chest? <laughs> we got a hole in the chest. Oh, it's the sword. That's why. So there's the sword. There's the chest. Backpack. Got to have your backpack. I do like it when I include, when miniatures include backpacks because, of course, that's where all your gear goes. That is, um, that's quite nice. I like that. It's quite thick as well. I mean, that's like five mil thick sprue. That is solid. That really is pretty solid. Um, the bases, each one is different. Uh, you can kind of see this one in particular. You've got two footprints. But each one is different. And this one is, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick that up. But you can see how how leveled that is. Look. So you've got different heights on these things. They are really, really detailed. I like that. I like that a lot. Well done, Army Painter. Oh, that is really textured. You can't, um, I don't. Can the camera pick that on that light there? Can you see that? You can see a footprint. So one foot foot goes there. The other one's going to go in the sprue hole. Uh, sprue hole? I don't know. Hole. Um, sprocket? I don't know. Um, but you can see that has texture on the top. For those of you who are into washing and dry brushing, that will really... That will really... Show. Oh, actually, some of these. Look, this one. It could be kind of like... Maybe that's water and it's a bit of stone on a bank of something I mean I'm I'm wow wow impressed wow indeed army painter wow indeed okay let's get to the let's get to I want to look at some of the paints so we have uh we've got one metallic here dwarf gold I like it I like the new packaging I like this um so obviously army painter is built it, well, it's not it is it's for kind of batch painting I guess is, is where they come up with army painter the name army painter um, not just things like Warcraft um, or Warhammer but uh, soldiers military tanks all that kind of stuff but you don't really do that with fantasy painting you can have a you can have a group of orcs and you have a group of heroes but 
you don't really necessarily batch paint them. So I kind of like having these. Oh, um, so they've got the uh, the the mixing balls are included in the, even in the small bowls. That's a really nice feature. Thank you very much, Army Painter. Oh, I got a flesh wash. I don't know what that is. It's a flesh wash. It looks quite dark. And I've got a shadow wash. I think I had these from the D&D paint sets. I'll have to uh, check those out. If it's, uh, I'm assuming it's just the same, same stuff. Uh, what have we got? Kraken blue, chromatic black. No, chaotic black. Part of my reading. Right, so that's that. That's just a bit of cardboard. Um, pretty flimsy. I don't, I don't think, I won't use that. <laughs> that. That goes in recycling. So let's have a quick look at the painting guide. Uh, it's free, please take a copy. So this is probably what you find in any hobby shop. I have, to be truthful, I haven't seen them in my hobby shops. But uh, there's lots of useful information, tips and tricks in here uh, of what to do. And don't be put off by reading a book and learning how to paint. It's only a couple of pages. A lot of it is just kind of background information. Um, but it, there's really good advice. And a lot of the times you'll see, look, QR codes, all of this, as you see, these are pictures taken from a video. The video is already recorded. So watch the video, pause it, refer back to this, take your notes, do it, and you are, you're, I was just looking at that then, that's a nice tip, look. How to use a color primer. Get a piece of wood, get some blue tack, stick your minis to it and spray it. I have been doing one at a time. <laughs> see? How you can get these golden nuggets of tips and tricks. I will do that now. Really nice bits and pieces in here. Not just for painting, for spraying as well. I haven't done airbrushing. I don't know if there's like a starter box of airbrushing, mainly because the room that I'm doing this in is quite small. It's a small box room, not well ventilated. And I probably don't want to get high spraying, <laughs> spraying paint everywhere. Uh, dry brushing techniques. There's a famous owlbear. I've got that. I, I gave it a go. I did quite well. I'm quite proud of my new one. Oh, introducing Game Master. Here we go. This is their new newish range. Oh, look. They've got different sets as well. Like Arctic, woodland, and desert. And, and normal corset dungeon. So I just smacked the mic. Down. So that's really nice. I like that. Do not, um, if you see this in the shops, if you go to Warhammer shops, uh, Games Workshop, um, and if you see this, pick it up. It, look, it's free and it's 30 pages of health and advice on how to paint. Do it, just do it. Now let's have a look at the other stuff that's in here. How to paint, let's have a proper look. Uh, Game Master in Search of Adventure on the back. Video guide, so again, if you if, you, if you're like me, you've already thrown a box away. You've got these. Keep these handy. Get. Um, I need some kind of painting container, just uh, you know, hobby craft or something like that, just to put all my paints and these notes and paintbrushes and gizmos and things. I need somewhere safe to keep them all. Preparation. So you use a hobby knife. Snap fit. I'm gonna. I'm really. You don't need to glue them. Really. Will it? What? You know. I don't know, would I glue it anyway? I'm gonna to have to find out. I'm gonna to have to make it and find out. Base coat, here we go. Wash, details. I love it. I'm gonna really have a proper look at doing this. I love the fact they've actually recommended, these are the kind of colors that we used on this mini. Don't forget, you get a set of 20. There's a set of 20 paints all in all. Okay, so that's that one. Then we have the advert. We looked at that earlier. Then we have a quest. Let's look at the quest. A village in need. Farbend is a small remote farming community proud of its history. Recently, our fields are being destroyed and our weekly caravan that visits the tra for trade have failed to appear for quite some time. Even worse, our people are going missing. What's worse is that we don't know who or what is responsible. Our local guards have failed at warding off these attacks and our children lie frightened and sleepless at night. Thus, we fear for the safety of our community and we are in desperate need of brave adventurers like us, to rid us of these troubles once and for all. In return for such heroic actions, I and the town of Farbend will pay with what riches we still possess and our eternal gratitude. If you have the fortitude and willpower to answer our call, 
Visit Farbend Town Hall for inquiries. So says the Mayor of Farbend. Then you get a little map. What's been going on? You know, they're in the abandoned mill. Of course they are. We want, I love this. In search of adventure, we want to help start your adventures. Use this as a main quest, a quick side mission, or perhaps for inspiration for your, to your own story. Cut the pamphlet out and hand it to your players. You are now ready to journey out and begin your epic adventures together. As the game master, remember that you control the game. This is just our suggestion to get you started and get more time for gaming. I absolutely love that. Wow. And I wonder, in the other sets, do we get a different quest? You've got to get them all, people. You've got to get them all. Now I'm really intrigued. I want more. I want... Wow. I get minis. I get an adventure or a side quest. Value for money, people. Value for money. Right. Uh, let's just go. Let's just dig in. Okay, so we've got deadly iron. Metallic. So we don't remember. We've got the gold. Dwarf gold and deadly iron. Cool. Metallics. That's my sword painting done. Orc grey. I think these are going to be the same... Uh, label names, as in when we, when we saw, I bought the D&D sets from Army Painter. I'm assuming it's the same names. I will have to check and come back to you and let you know. Ancient Bones. But if you're watching this and you're a fan of painting, and you already know, just put it in the comments below. Dryad Brown. Olven Green. Ranger. Ranger Green. Grey Undercoat. Ooh. It's an effect. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I don't know what that is. What is it? Hmm, it's a mystery. Wrapped up in an enigma. Right. I set that one aside because I don't know what that is. Uh, Army painter, Adam, if you're watching this. What's the effect paint? Let us know. Is that something to use on the minis, on the bases? Would it do, is it like, would it do something? I don't know. It's an effect paint. I don't know. I'm intrigued. Right. Worm purple for your giant purple worms. Angelic yellow. Nice color. Really bright. I mean, look at that. Mermaid. Mermaid turquoise. Lovely. Let's just get the vomp. Look at these colors. Very, very vivid colors. I love these. I'm not someone who need. I don't, I'm, I'm a beginner painter. <laughs> if, you, if you go check out our, our Great British Brush Off series, um, it's all about beginner painting. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Go check it out. Have a look. Neutral red. Neutral red. Blood red. Neutral red. Rosy skin. Bear brown. What else we got? Ooh, uh, I'm going to say water. Lawful white. Did we get a black? Oh, yeah, we got chaotic, wasn't it? Wildfire orange. I love that orange. I mean, look at that color. That's it. I might keep that. It does close quite well. So I might keep it. I'll get rid of it for now. But I might come back to it. So we had we had the white. We had... we oh, knocking everything over now. We have the washes. We had chaotic black. There we go. So we got our, our two main black and white, which is good. We've got gold and silver. We have an effect paint. I don't know what that is. We have shadow wash and flesh wash. And we have Kraken blue. Now, all of those. Look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovelies. I think that's, I think that's great. I think that is absolutely superb. Now, you remember, you get that, you get this, you get the paintbrush with the silly bit of plastic that I can never get back on. Uh, you get a quest. Look at this. It just goes on and on. You get an advert for other stuff. You get how to paint this specific box set, or at least give you started on one of them. And you get a free painting guide, which is available in all retail shops that do painting goods. It's 30 odd pages. Um, all of that, and I've just dropped the box on the floor. There we go. All of that in here. This is. Let's make it nice and neat and tidy. There we go. The Game Master Character Starter Role Playing Set. Absolutely fantastic. I am blown away by this. I am really looking forward. I will do some videos of how these characters go together for you. Please do come back and check those out. Um, 
very, very soon, Adam from Army Painter will be back. We'll be doing an Army Painter special where we will be painting these um, with these paints. Um, so do join us at it's a live show. Uh, you'll catch up on YouTube. And remember, youtube.com, if you like what we do here, check out our stories, our campaigns, our interviews. We do loads of bits and pieces. Um, do check us out, youtube.com slash band of badgers. If you're watching this video, you're already here. Go and click on subscribe. Help us out. Thank you very much. Until next time, be good. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.